A very good evening to all of you. Um, only a few hours left before we embark on 2024. And we just wanted to utilize this moment, this time, just to, to speak into for us as we get ourselves ready for 2024. We know 2023 has been an incredible year. We know of a lot of people that have received their breakthroughs. And maybe you're still one that's still, you know, waiting for your breakthrough. But we still believe and still trust in the goodness and the faithfulness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But I just want to just encourage you this evening as many of us are looking towards 2024 and many of us are maybe anxious, maybe of us are worried and maybe there's just these thoughts of, you know, worry concerning what is 2024 going to look like? Am I going to be able to get out of 2023 and into 2024, you know, not having to worry, not worry too stress about certain situations that is in my life? But I want to encourage you as, like I said, only a few moments left before we uh, counted down for the new year. And I believe and I trust with all my heart that 2024 is going to be a year of greater. And I want to encourage you that as you prepare, prepare for 2024, you know, to be with your family, to be with loved ones, and just to trust in God for 2024. From us here at Sweetwaters, we just want to pray God's blessings and strength and favor for you, your family, your loved ones, and pray for 2024, that 2024 will be a year, like I said, of greater, greater exploits and greater breakthroughs. And so would you just be with me and as we embark on and, 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 and something that God wants for us in 2024, to have attentive ears, to have the belief, the trust, and the hope that God is about to do something amazing, something good, something really, really um, unpacking something in so many levels for each and every one of us. And so be with me as we pray for 2024, as we, what better way, let me just say this, what better way to start the year by trusting and believing in God through prayer and meditation knowing that we serve an almighty, all-glorious, all-loving God that cares for His children and wants the best for His children. You might have not experienced the best, but the best is yet to come. And this morning we had an incredible service speaking about you know, trusting in God and the stepping stones for our lives. And maybe you are on the stepping stone of you know, where you don't know what the end is going to result and look like. But we need to trust, we need to believe that God knows our purpose, He knows the plans He has for us. And so this evening, let's just come together in prayer. Heavenly Father and Almighty God and King, we come before you, Lord God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that you are always faithful. You are always good. And Lord, as we close 2023 off and we move into 2024, Lord God, and as the minutes are counting down, we thank you, Lord God, that you're a good God. We thank you for 2023 and carrying us through the hardships, through the trials, through everything that might have possibly been against us, Lord God. And yet, we still remain standing. Lord, we pray, Lord God, for many breakthroughs that came through in 2023. And we look forward to 2024 for an overflow of your breakthrough. We thank you, Lord God, that you are always good, always faithful. And we pray, Lord God, for 2024, Lord God, for your people, for your church. I pray, Lord, that we will just rise up to the very authority that you have given each and every person. I pray, Lord God, for our community. I pray for the schools as they get ready. I pray, Lord God, for every business. I pray, Lord God, for every workplace. I pray, Lord God, for each and every employer and employee, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for our defense force. I pray, Lord God, for our police, for the people that is always in the front line, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, as they embark on 2024, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you would give them your strength and your abundance of grace. I pray, Lord God, for those who might even enter into 2024, Lord God, being sick in body, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for your healing upon their lives. In Jesus' name, Lord God, that they would let go of whatever is causing that, Lord God, in 2023, and they would literally move in 2024, being healed and restored and renewed. In Jesus' name. And so we thank you, Lord God, for all you do. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're going to continue to do. And we thank you, Lord God, 
we will go into 2024 not alone, not on our own strength, not on our own ability, but knowing that you are with us. So we thank you for all this in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Family, have an amazing rest of the time that's left in 2023. And as we count down the minutes, I pray that God will be your portion. God will be your refuge and strength. And if you're out and about at this time, travel safe home. Um, just be safe. And let God just be your protection. And let Him just continue to watch over you as we embark on 2024. God bless your family. Love you all. See you again in the year. God bless.